the coronavirus pandemic is changing the relevance as well as the perception of science and research. Never before has the field of diagnosis attracted so much general attention. Never before has reading the daily infection statistics been more important than now. In addition to PCR tests, which establish whether a virus infection is present or not, the blood count, that is, the hematological analysis, also provides important information about infections. Today, our societies realize how important testing is. COVID-19 was a somewhat of a wake-up signal. We have now the opportunity, but also the responsibility, to adopt very quickly our technologies developed over the years for mass testing. Despite all the fancy technology of our hematology analysis will remain a prime source for diagnostic information. The hematological analyst Jan van den Bogart and the biochemist Oliver Haydn are ideally equipped for this. Their collaboration began at Siemens Health in Ears with the development of a computer-based blood test that made it easy to diagnose malaria. For this, they were awarded the European Inventor Award in 2017. Their patented method looked not only for the pathogens themselves, but also for typical patterns in the blood count that were triggered by the infection. Today, both inventors are working on new ideas and inventions to fight the corona pandemic. Jan van den Bogart is working on a new analysis approach for COVID-19 at Siemens Health in Ears using the hematology device ADVR2120i. And Oliver Haydn, a professor at the Technical University of Munich, is developing new diagnostic tools. We at Siemens Health in Ears have, of course, a PCR test available. And last week, we also released an antibody test. In addition to that, we worked on a completely new approach for a corona test. What we are working on goes somewhat in the line of what Jan is doing, but our focus are the complications and the clinical interventions. What kind of drugs, emissions have to give to patients for a respective complication? For that, we are actually starting a very special SARS-CoV-2 laboratory to test our prototypes, but also invite our TOM colleagues together with clinicians and industry partners to discover many of these unknown mechanisms of how the SARS-CoV-2 virus actually is doing harm to our body. Many of these mechanisms are still unclear. We have a lot of questions, but hopefully find the answers. For most people, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has no effect, but for others, it can be deadly. I'm exploring if we can create a hematology flag at which we can identify the status of patients with regards to COVID-19 very fast and hopefully assist clinicians better in their life-saving decision-making. With our technology for a next-generation hematology analyzer, we do hope to extend the biomarker panels of Jan's analyzer, aiming for even more detailed diagnosis by visualizing cell function. When someone becomes infected, their body reacts with an immune response within a few minutes. But if this innate immune system is defective, this may lead to a cytokine storm, an overproduction of pro-inflammatory cytokines that, in the end, could lead to sepsis. In those sepsis patients, the white blood cells will destroy the membranes of infected cells and even the healthy ones. This releases the fluid in the cells. Because the lungs are the main organ affected, these patients may die from drowning, from the fluid that builds up in the lungs. To identify patients at risk with a COVID-19 infection, we need to understand how the virus is interacting with the host. We hope to support this kind of research with our contribution in in vitro diagnostics. Since white blood cells are involved in this whole process, we can use hematology parameters to create a flag in the blood profiles. For this flag, I use the same strategy as we used for our malaria test. We can make a fingerprint and can thus see the effect of the virus in a pattern. Testing for antibodies only shows if the patient has antibodies, but it doesn't reflect whether the patient is severely ill or not. With blood cell analysis, doctors can see how severely patients are affected and potentially if they are recovering or not. This is very important information for their decision making. And there is another aspect with the Advia 2120i running our algorithm. The result is available within 30 seconds, running 24-7 in a routine laboratory at very low cost. When you go into a hospital and they draw your blood, in most cases, 
they do already a full blood count. That's a standard procedure. The additional results of our work potentially could save lives, may become even established biomarkers. Being inventive is key to successfully defeat the current pandemic due to the SARS-CoV virus.